The title of this video is not actually clickbait. That monitor right there is actually worth 18... Oops, sorry. That monitor is worth $1,800. <laughs> this is BenQ's new Mobius EX480UZ, an absolute monolith of a monitor. It's a 48-inch 4K OLED 120Hz 0.1 millisecond gray to gray gaming monitor with AMD FreeSync Premium and a DCI-P3 percentage of 98%. And with how massive this thing is, I'm literally looking at the top of the screen right now, it does have anti-glare, thank god. A quick disclaimer though, I didn't actually pay for this monitor, BenQ sent it to me for review. If you're worried about the size, let me tell you right now, it is immersive beyond belief. I mean, it's a 48-inch monitor, like how could it not be? So don't expect to plop this thing on the back of your 24-inch depth IKEA Carlby and expect to be able to see the entire screen real estate without having to move your head a bunch. I've already posted two videos about this monitor over on TikTok and the general reception is that it's basically just a TV and I definitely get that. I mean, I feel like most people who buy this thing are going to be using it as such anyway, but I wouldn't write this thing off as such so quickly because I feel like it's a little bit more than a TV. Do you guys remember the Samsung Odyssey Arc? Well, if you do, the monitor is apparently attempting to tap into that same market without even coming close to the price point of the Odyssey Arc. And when I say that out loud, it makes much more sense why this thing exists. It's an OLED monitor with HDRI that BenQ states was fine-tuned by their color experts, so expect some incredibly nice blacks that also has auto-optimized image color detail and clarity, as well as improved contrast through color saturation with auto-adapting to ambient light. So there is a lot of great stuff here. It also has a built-in light tuner with 20 color settings for those of you who want a specific type of viewing experience when gaming, along with scenario mapping so you can quickly pair each of your OSD presets with an input, and Brightness Intelligence Plus, which adjusts the display brightness and color temperature in order to mitigate headaches, eye strain, and fatigue with brightness that's adapted to your surroundings. All of this is awesome, but I personally don't think it holds a candle to this next feature. You might have seen my Nintendo Switch and Xbox One popping up in the B-roll, and that's not just for show. It's actually because this monitor has a really awesome picture-in-picture -picture and picture-by-picture -picture feature, which you can use with up to four completely different sources at the same time, along with KVM, so there's support for one keyboard and mouse between your PC and console. So if you really wanted to play on your PlayStation, Xbox, PC, and Switch all at the same time, all on one screen, you literally could, as long as at least one of those sources is able to use a USB Type-C port as a display connector. Speaking of ports, you get one 1.4 display port, two HDMI 2.1 ports, one USB Type-C port, one USB Type-B port, and two USB 3.2 ports on the left side of the monitor, with the power connector being on the opposite side. Going back to picture-in-picture -picture mode, which most people already know, yes, you can use two sources simultaneously, with one of them taking up the entire screen and another taking up a small corner portion in case you want to watch videos or something of that nature at the same time as playing. You can also resize the screen if you want to. I personally don't need that feature, but it is a nice touch. And if you're not interested in purchasing a high quality speaker or speaker bar for this thing, don't worry, because it comes with a very nice 2.1 channel speaker that has two 5 watt speakers and a 10 watt subwoofer with a headphone jack. Unfortunately, I can't really present to you how good this speaker is, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I like it, and I actually like it enough that I really wish that my ultra wide had one. Now, all of this awesome stuff is pretty much worthless if it doesn't answer the question that everyone is wondering. And that is, does the Mobius EX480UZ provide a great gaming experience? Crazy enough, I personally think it does as long as you're completely comfortable with swallowing the massive price that is literally my rent for this monitor. Listen, the thing is the people buying something like this are either buying it because they have the money to and want to flex or because they have a need that this monitor is capable of filling. I'm personally inclined to believe it's the latter. If you're someone that can't comprehend spending that much on a monitor, well, then you don't have to worry about anything because you're not the target audience anyway. To be fair, because I like to give my own honest opinions, I really would have liked to see a higher refresh rate. I feel like 120 hertz is good it's like acceptable, but honestly, if we went for anything higher, that would be like icing on the cake, especially because this thing is really expensive. I mean, I'm fine with 120 hertz because of all the other stuff this monitor can do. The 120 hertz thing is really just my only gripe. But let me know what you guys think. What do you love about this thing? What do you hate about it? Be sure to drop them in the comments below and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care. Nah, go this way. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Come, 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 come